So guys, um, I've come across a Maasai market here at City Mall. I've done a video about Maasai market before, but the, the time I've been here in Mombasa, I've not seen any Maasai market and coming across this is just interesting, meaning it's something that has been replicated and is in most places across Kenya. So let's go check it out and see what they have. How different is it from the Nairobi one? Come, let's see. So guys, this is where we begin from. Funny thing, it's uh, it's um, it's a Tuesday. Yeah. Most Maasai markets in Nairobi are usually from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But right here, I can see. Hi, mom. Oh well, this is nice. How much is this? How much? Oh, 2,500. This is nice, guys. This is nice. It's a nice leather bag. Beaded, beaded artwork. Mm -hmm. Ah, sour, sour. Let's start with the market and then we'll come back. So guys, this is how most Maasai markets look like. It's all about African artifacts, African fabrics, the history and all that. Anything with a touch of African, you find it here, you know. And when you come to most Maasai markets, the, the splash of color is what just grabs your eye from the beginning. As you can see, we have the sandals here, we have the shukas. These ones cannot miss at Maasai markets. These ones cannot miss at Maasai, uh, Maasai market in Mombasa because of the beaches. Mm. I rarely see them in Nairobi, but here I, I can see this is among the first things you that grabs your eye because usually, you know, they are tied on the waist or worn like kimonos when you've worn a bikini. So I think that's the unique aspect because uh, they take whatever they have and they make sure that it blends in with the culture of the place. Uh -huh. So uh, this is the one unique one I have seen. And there are several small things here and there. There's the key holders beads. and the beads. Look at these African key holders. Nice. I've seen a lot of this here too. These are really cute for kids. Really, really cute. Okay, for grown-ups too, if you like them. Oh, this is awesome, guys. This is very, very pretty. Hello, boss. Eating happy. How much? Oh, a thousand bob. These are cute, guys. And then we have the usual. You cannot miss this at any Maasai market. Uh, these are the bead, beaded um, neck, neck, whatever, for, from the Maasai community. You cannot miss this at any place. So we'll come back. I'm seeing a bit of similarities. Okay, a lot of similarities and a bit of uniqueness this here for kids hello mom hello. yeah these are for the kids guys you know and i told you because of the culture and also uh the weather and the way mombasa is like you'll find some things that are, are unique to their environment these are for kids when i'm going, going to the beach or just when walking around they're very light the material is very light uh, because of the heat here and the warmth and we, we, we have the kangas very unique to the Swahili culture we have the kangas I'm gonna do something about the kangas later on in one of my videos uh, these are one of the symbolic symbolic treasures of uh, Mombasa yeah. yes the Swahili people and the Swahili people so the kangas you can never miss the kangas the lessos mm. and uh, the shukas but those three things are very different kanga lessons and shukas so yeah. don't, don't 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 think i'm talking about the same thing they're very different mm -hmm. so like these ones they've been made out of the shukas mm -hmm. the ones i was and these are the kangas ah thank you these are the kangas guys mm -hmm. each time someone comes to mombasa i remember when my mom used to come to mombasa <laughs> uh she would make sure she comes back with one of these uh, or several of them as gifts for the women in the family and these are the kikois yes these are the kikois very famous too usually i think they started with the massage yes you've seen a bit of this on the international scene runways cut you know catwalks and all that but originally they belong to the maasai community who cut across kenya and tanzania you know but they are ours i know some people have copyrighted it or it's called copyrighted or doing what <laughs> <Dennis>. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they patented it. Yeah. But it's uh, it solely belongs to Kenya and Tanzania. Uh, I don't want to pick a side really. Yeah. yeah so these are the Kikoi's. Uh -huh. Very special. Um, very warm. Yeah. A lot of people when traveling, this is what they wrap around their their their, their, their shoulders uh, to keep warm. So it's one of the things you're gonna find in Maasai market. I think it's one of the major main things to find in yeah. Maasai market. Mm -hmm. but yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's one of those symbolic things. You just walk in and it's like Kikoi, mm -hmm. and then we. It's usually the Kikoi and the Kenyan bracelets. Yeah, you can never not find them yeah. in a Maasai market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and these shukas usually they have things called. Uh, Proverbs. They have yes, they have writings. <laughs> it's a, it's a long story, guys. Yeah. I need to do like a totally whole segment about the lessons because they are very interesting. They come in pairs usually. It's not one because you're supposed to wrap them. Let me try and wrap it. Let me try and wrap it because Mama here is is helping me a lot. So Lola is being wrapped with lessons. <laughs> so now you are soily human. What is the message I'm passing with this lesson? Let me see. Uchamu uh, apendo nikuwa wawili. The sweetness of love is it's just being two people. Together. Uh, three. Get it? The third one is a. The third one is a poison. The, the third one is. Is a poison. The same. The same the secret of being together is two people. Yeah. Yeah. Staying that together. is the message yeah. on this lesson. Yeah. Now, this is what happens in the Swahili villages mm -hmm. when you feel like you've uh, you've um, you know, mm -hmm. you've argued with someone or you, you have mis uh, you had a misunderstanding. Yeah. You buy her, especially it was women. Oh, something just for guys. <laughs> especially women. Mm. You you wear this for each other, mm. literally. So when you pass a woman like hey, hey, they, read yeah. the, they read the message, you know. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, yeah. They just read the message and they're like, hmm. And tomorrow they'll wear a lesson for you again. <laughs> so that's how you communicate. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. So um, various styles. Yeah. Okay. So this is you can tie it in various styles. You know, how, however you want it. There's a way you can also mm. just wear it like a bui bui. Mm. Wear it like a bui bui. Uh, but then this is also very common. You can use it when you you can wear it when doing house chores. Mm. You can wear it going to functions, but I think because of modernity and civilization, the civilization, the lesser a lot of it is used in other things like carrying a baby on your back yeah. or just wrapping it when doing housework, and that is just it. Anyway, it's interesting. It keeps on falling off, guys. <laughs> Let me just take it out. Me naika Angelina. Niko katika Masai Market in City Mall, second floor. How much is this? Okay. Guys, look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, where are the short ones? Ah, I love the red ones. The red ones are so cute. Mm -hmm. Guys, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, these are cute. Yes. Uh, just right here at City Market. Yeah, City Market. City you know, we have a City Market in Nairobi. Ah, yeah. This is City Mall, guys. City Mall. Allow Market. me to get confused because we have a lot Market. of. <laughs> <laughs> City Mall. Yeah. Oh, and then we have the much shorter ones. I can see them here. The much. These are cute. You can go with them to the office. I know sometimes with ladies, mm. for the long ones, you go with them to parties. For the short ones, you want to go with them to the office. Yes. So they are all here. Mm. Let's continue. Yes, Let's continue. I have to Ah, another signature of the coast, the cowrie shells. They're called the cowrie shells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You find them uh, in the ocean whenever you're walking by. Lately, I don't get to find them. I don't, I don't find these things in the ocean anymore. Uh -huh. When you were kids, you would 
come across them, yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's one of their signatures too. Mm -hmm. So these sandals are specifically made from what is found in nature here. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. But what's the price of this? They are 1,500. They are very comfortable, original leather, as you can see. Original leather. Mm -hmm. Different designs too, guys. Different designs. This looks more like a flower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they uh, for men? For men, don't have this much decoration. Yeah. Men, you get the plain ones. <laughs> <laughs> Boy child. Boy child. <laughs> Come here. Really? Oh yeah, the Maasai belts, so guys. Of beads, just beads. Yeah, specifically, you know, the Kenyan flag. Yeah. The Kenyan flag, guys. Even though, and the Maasai colors, so, yeah, yeah. This is the, for the Maasai colors, yeah. This is the Maasai colors. Let me tell you something that I've seen a lot. Mm -hmm. Kenyans rarely wear this kind of belt. I only see white people, Mzungu, tourists, yeah. with this. Mm -hmm. When you see a Kenyan guy wearing this, which is next to impossible, we find we find it a bit tacky, which is quite sad because this is our tradition this is our background mm -hmm. but anyway that's how life is we embrace modernity and what we call civilization and forget about where we came from mm -hmm. but these belts are quite nice look yeah. at them guys that's good quite nice yeah someone took time out to make them yep by hand man this is a kenyan kenyan made belt yes handmade yeah handmade mm -hmm. Hi. Let's continue. You have this. This, this is oh. the sign of the heart of our present. This is for most of the time. Uh, present Ruto is always wearing this. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. But now they stop wearing it. True. They stop wearing it. I don't know why. But most of the time, see our country, Kenya, Kenya our country. Mm, very pretty. Yeah. A lot of countries have such capes because yeah. I think I have one from Denmark. Uh -huh. Yeah. It just it's a part of branding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you go somewhere, you know and. There's the, the bracelet, beach, but yeah. then we have this. Yeah. Very pretty. I think I like it. I like our colors. Our colors are very vibrant. Mm -hmm. Our Kenyan flag is beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Asante Bo, Sacha Kendele. Ah, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, quite windy, guys. Yeah. Very windy here today. Yeah. I don't know what it is. What is this? It looks like a storage basket but for something maybe a few coins you drop your few coins here money anything mm. wow uh. oh then there is this oh guys there is this quite colorful very colorful guys very colorful. Even the design and colors and everything is yeah. just amazing. The designs wow. are very different. Even though personally I wouldn't carry such a color. Oh wow. It's Still. It's yeah. So wow. Let me throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just nice. This is nice. Yeah. Mm? I think you cannot color clash anything with this because you have it the, has all, all the colors. The colors yeah. Exactly, yes. exactly. I think that was the point of it. Uh -huh. And it's quite small and handy, you know. Yeah, 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 but go yeah. with it to the office, mm -hmm. go with it partying, all that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it favors all time. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love it. And then there is a the black and white. I love monochrome. Now this you can see me with mm -hmm. totally. This you can see me with. Why? I it's love because it. of the black and white. The, I love black and white, mm -hmm. grays. I love those colors, neutral colors, mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. Especially the black and white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you can carry it whichever way. Mm -hmm. And it has a handle. Yeah, you can use the handle or you know, or not. You can use, the, use handle. the handle when you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So guys, let's continue. Let's continue. Number. Sante. So guys, it's quite colorful in here and uh, a few stores haven't opened, I think because it's also a Tuesday, so I guess they have a day when they're very busy. They do have a day, I am very sure. We're going to ask about it. So we have uh, the small house decorations like this, the giraffe. Very pretty, one have, of the big five. We have the symbol of the Maasai, this one here. Ah, yeah. So I think. <laughs> 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 Usually, 
this is what they walk around with quite heavy yeah very heavy yeah so. and very well made mm -hmm. yeah? This thing can last for years and years and years. Yeah. It's more like the Swahili sword. Everywhere I go, I see their symbol as the Swahili. Mm. So this is the a Maasai sword. one. This is a Maasai the one. Maasai, Maasai weapon. Mm, like the that. weapon. I think each community had something of the sword mm. uh, to symbolize just how they used to take care of them. Uh, and also, security when you walk around the city, CBD, Mombasa CBD, and you see someone uh, having this, yes. you just know automatically that is a Maasai guy. Oh, true, true, yeah. true, 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 true. And even if they're not, they're representing that they're community. They're representing that community. Which is one of the most famous communities in Kenya. Yeah. yeah. So there is this. And then we have the elephant here. It's a nice one. To just it just have it at the corner of the house, office, or wherever space. Mm. I did a story on the elephant tusk. Mm -hmm. So you can see the elephant is a really big deal here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We are still trying to continue the conservation and the preservation and the sustainability of the elephant. Ooh. Is this a mask? Yeah, and something like that. Oh wow! It's like uh, you put it on like a portrait uh, on the wall. Mm. Yeah, it's like you put it in the portrait. Mm. Yeah. This is interesting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How it's do I look like Lenny? Why are you laughing? It's kind of ugly. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. Oh my god. But most of them, I think. But it has a very nice uh, the art, the yeah. art which is put on that. Mm -hmm. Very, very amazing. During the African times, masks were supposed to be ugly. By the mm. way, masks are not supposed to be beautiful because mm. they were not meant for women. They were meant for the warriors going to the field to fight, yeah. to scare people. Yeah. There are some musical instruments. I think I remember this. Aha! Uh -huh. Everything is Kenyan made, handmade. Mm. So usually when you buy things in this market, mm. uh, such a market, any Maasai market, mm. you're supporting local talent mm -hmm. and you're also supporting small businesses because mm -hmm. this is where they eat from mm -hmm. and uh, they also help in also promoting the culture, the several cultures uh, in the country, mm -hmm. the several traditions in the country. Mm -hmm. So usually it's very popular with tourists but along the way, also Kenyans have uh, started making it uh, also a habit to come to such places and collect artifacts. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went to one of these Maasai markets and this guy was like, whatever he was selling was not just from Kenya, handmade in Kenya, but he's a collector. He would go around different African countries, collect things and come sell it in his market. So guys, I've come across some things here. They're looking so good. The masks, which are very popular too. Mm -hmm. So most of these things are always like uh, they're like portraits. You just put them on the wall. Yes. Yeah. Oh, exactly, exactly. Banok mm Mutwapa. -hmm. Mutwapa is an area here in at the coast. And this this is this is a club. Oh. Banok is a club in in Mutwapa. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a club. So when you go there, you see like uh, mm. just uh, when you cross the the uh, Mutwapa bridge, is where you get Banok. But a lot of what he's displaying here look like uh, collector's items. Yes. They don't look like they were like, they're new, they're handmade to yeah. be sold. They look like he'd go to places, collect, collect something and bring it here. Yeah. This like is a candle mm -hmm. holder. Yeah. I don't know how you can display it, but it is. Yeah. And these are plates. Mm -hmm. You can use it as a decoration uh, plate or food plate. Yeah. Yeah. These are the popular Maasai sculptures. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a calabash. This is a woman with a calabash, as you can see. This is how they used to sit. Yeah. They would squat. Mm -hmm. That was their sitting position. Mm -hmm. This is a woman with a calabash uh, squatting with cornrows. Yeah. Same to the, 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 the... It's like they come in a pair, mm -hmm. these two. We have a guy yeah. in the lead. These are Maasai squatting. And you can only know they are Maasai by the... The, their, their hair design. Mm -hmm. This is the Maasai man, Maasai young warrior or whoever. It used to be red. Their hair is very red. They paint it very red using a certain special color, clay, soil, something of the sort, with a spear. Yeah. So all this is a touch of what is in Kenya. It's a touch of tradition in Kenya. Yep. It's a pretty small market, guys. I've been to a bigger one, but this is a small one. But it's it, it continues the tradition of um, 
Maasai markets across the country. But it's like it has everything you it need. It has everything you need. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only difference is that it's a bit hidden compared to the one in Nairobi that I know. Yeah. Yes. So you have to know it's at City Mall here mm. in Nyali, Mombasa. Yes. You just come upwards and you get it. Zebra. Wow, this is amazing. This is, yeah, wow, pretty. Is very, nice. very pretty. Mm. And then uh, this looks like a key holder. Yes, yeah, like a key holder. Like a key holder sword. Yeah. Mm. Let me show them. Wow, what is that? So this, I know because I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. This is used by communities mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 to store food. Oh, you know okay. when you don't okay. want, uh, you know the kind of food that attracts insects? Yeah. So Flies, you place it in here, like yes, yeah. then you cover it mm -hmm. and you just leave it there. Yeah. So the food will be okay, it won't be tampered by flies and all that. It's like, it's like uh, if you are sleeping and uh, you just put the net so that you cannot be bitten by, bitten by mosquitoes. So it's like it's, it's the same for the, the same food. This, yeah. Yes, especially to protect from uh, house flies. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I, I know that because I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes. then guys, I think I've done with this um, mm. market and as you can see, it's impressive, mm. as impressive as it looks. It's usually very colorful mm. and uh, just try and pass by mm. what it, and see what it has for you, you get. Right now it's not so quite busy, but I know they have a special day where it's very busy, which should be on a weekend. But for me now, bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe guys by the way, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue promoting me and we can continue growing as a community and all that. This yeah. is part of the journey to show you how Mombasa mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm.